Uh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, I think so. I have heard of the UW Quidditch team. Yeah. Yeah. Are you interested in playing? Possibly, but I'm questioning the feasibility of Quidditch without magic. Uh, no. No, no. Yeah. Yeah? Like, for fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not, like, actually seriously, but yeah. Well, I want to play. Like, it'd be cool, and but I'm not really athletic, but it looks really fun. Yeah. I played once before in my life. Well, so, you, so if you guys are aware, like, there's tryouts today. Are you going at all this week? Oh. Where trials today? I don't know, sounds interesting, I wasn't really thinking about it. Yeah, I actually saw a lot of posters around campus this term and uh, they really, their design was really cool and really caught my interest to come try out for the team. My name is Sachin and I'm the president of the Waterloo Quidditch program. My name is Courtney and I'm the captain of the Waterloo Retracts Quidditch team. You know, we kind of started it and last year when we had our team we um, found 21 people to make a team and literally just went for it. Yeah. So, and it worked out really well. Oh but, yeah, right on, you guys got like a lot of And this is what, first day of tryouts for this year? Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's cool to see tryouts actually happening. Yeah, right. A lot of people are interested. So was the school a little skeptical about letting you guys run the program like this? Or? I would say um, there we get people who are definitely skeptical when we tell definitely. them that we play Quidditch. <laughs> but I think personally, um, the, the guy who we work with in athletics, he's absolutely amazing. Uh, my name's Adam Steves, and for the last five years, I've been the club sports clubs coordinator and intramural manager for Warrior Recreation at the University of Waterloo. When I was approached by uh, the original members of the Quidditch Club and they had an idea and they already had, you know, the support of several students, it was something that, you know, intrigued me and we wanted to give it a shot. When they came to me, they really had kind of everything set up already. They knew what they wanted to do. They already had that interest base prepared. So it was easy. We got them started. The students turned out to be great, passionate executive members. And in the last three years, they've grown it from that initial, you know, 30 or 40 people to up over 100. So for me, I have absolutely no background in Quidditch. I don't know how the sport is played. Um, I haven't even seen Harry Potter, but that's all irrelevant. If there's students there that are passionate about something, that want to get started in something, I want to be there to help them do that. The only really difference between us and varsity is the fact that we're not getting paid as much as the varsity players are to run our sport. Yeah. So Adam's been really great. Like this whole time, he's just like really supportive of us, and every time we like have tournaments and stuff, he gets really excited about it. And like he keeps our trophies in a case, and <laughs> it's great. He's really excited about it, and he actually like knows that it's yeah. a sport. A lot of people, when they hear the word Quidditch, they don't think it's an actual sport. They think it's just a joke, and people just do it for fun. And then you come and watch it, and you're like, oh my god, like this is actually a real thing. It's actually a real sport. So he knows that, and he gives us a lot of support, which is great. Um, as a sports clubs coordinator, I have a soft spot for those students that are passionate about something else that just happens to not be, you know, deemed varsity by the OUA or by the CIS. But my hope with Quidditch, as well as some of our other sports, is that they can actually get that recognition that they deserve uh, with a governing body such as the OUA or the CIS. Uh, the difference here is the varsity sports are all getting funding from the university um, to go and compete. They're getting you know, paid coaches on contract and things like that. Whereas the clubs, they have to do it all themselves. So it's the students that are running it, the students that are funding it, the students that are coaching it, all of those kind of things. Uh, we provide as much support as we can. Um, and luckily over the last couple of years, we've been able to find you know, a small amount of finances to help them out any way that we can. But if there's that governing body, such as the CIS or OUA, that takes a, a sport such as Quidditch and turns it into that, you know, definition of varsity, um, then there's a lot more things that we can do to help them out. So five years from now, if, you know, they can be, you know, right there in that same list as, you know, football, hockey, basketball, volleyball, and those types of things, I think that would be awesome.